Accessing Google Cloud resources manually is straightforward. You can use the web interface or the G Cloud SDK in the terminal. However, doing the same thing programmatically is more difficult because of authorization. In this video, we are going to create a cloud function that lists all the notebook instances under our account. The same method can be adapted to any cloud resource or operation. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Let's get started. This is the product, product that we are going to use. It's called Notebooks. What, what this is, uh, is a product for Jupyter Notebooks. So, uh, just a quick example. Yeah, useful, useful product, pretty cool for data science. So if we're looking for the REST API, Google Notebooks API, we will see that there is a REST interface in here. So V1, projects, locations, instances, list. This is the endpoint that we are going to call. So we can we can try to call it with Postman. So we'll do um, do a new request in here. Copy this. So we'll see that parent has the format of projects, project ID, locations, location. So we'll do just that. So instead of parent, we'll do projects my project name locations my location and now instances all right let's try to send it yeah and it says we are missing the authentication credential i will paste the credential in the authentic authorization header it's supposed to be a better token and if we see now it worked as expected, we got back the notebook that I showed you earlier. So 190851, it's uh, this one. So this worked as expected. The problem with this method is that we need to get this JWT programmatically. We are addressing this using the Google API Python client one lesser known fact about this client is that it can automatically create wrappers around any Google Cloud REST interface. Google Notebooks is such an interface, so the client will work with it. This is how we use the client. First, we make sure it is installed. Google API Python client. Next, we start a Python 3 REPL. So from Google API client import, import the discovery method. Now we need to create the wrapper. So inside the discovery method, there's this method called build, which creates the wrapper around our API. So the name of our API is notebooks and v1. Notebooks v1. Now this wrapper will take care of authentication for us. By default, it uses the user, user account. We are logged in in the Google Cloud SDK, but we can provide different authentication methods just such as a service account. So if we look here, Google API Client Discovery, we see that the build uh, the build method takes this credentials uh, credentials parameter that we left null, which told the build method to use the default uh, user we are logged in in the SDK. Now we are going to make the call to our API, so the path will be the same as in the REST API. It will be projects, location, instances, list. So notebooks, projects, locations, instances, list. So 
So we see that we are missing the parameter parent, just like in the, in the API parent, it needs to be in this format, projects, locations, location. So let's try it out. Projects, locations, US Central, 1A. And we see we, we received this HTTP request that now we need to execute. So we execute it and we see we receive the instance, our notebook instance. Next, we are going to execute this code as a cloud function. So first, we're going to write a local script, a local Python script, and then we are going to transfer it. Let's call it main .py. Google API client the same the same code we did in a, in a REPL discovery build notebooks uh, v1 now we are going to respond um, make the request so it'll be notebooks let's see notebooks location project locations just like that now we are going to print the response make sure it worked now uh, Here we are running the main uh, function, and we see we got the response. Now we are going to reproduce this into a um, cloud function method. Create a function, yes, it doesn't matter. It will be Python, Python 3.9. We have the requirement Google API Python client. So we need this. And now we are going to return the response instead of printing it. And we need to import discovery from Google API. Import discovery. OK, hopefully it works. OK, now uh, we can test it. The request is not important, and we see our notebook here. So what happened in the background is that the cloud functions run in the context of a service account. And when we did discovery build, the, the library used this service account to authenticate the requests to the notebooks API, and this is why it worked. That's it for today. You can find the source code in the description below. I will also link my website in case you need help with Google Cloud development. See you next time.